Welcome back to Global Cooking with Joy. This week we're going to travel to India and we're going to learn how to make naan bread from scratch and also Indian butter chicken. But first, I'd like you guys to prepare naan bread dough to use in this class, okay? So if you guys haven't taken a picture of the recipe, please take a screenshot or write it down. But I'm going to go over what we're using real quick. Here I have about four cups of all-purpose flour, about one teaspoon of of salt and one teaspoon of baking powder so we're gonna mix all the dry ingredients together except the yeast okay so if you guys love salty feel free to add a little bit more salt in here and now we are going to make the yeast mixture but first just add about three four cup of warm milk remember warm milk you guys can heat that up in a microwave and about a quarter cup of water and then about one tablespoon of sugar now just to give this some food to the yeast and then we're gonna add that yeast in mix well and we're gonna let it sit for about five to ten minutes just to make sure the yeast is still active and alive before we pour it in the uh, flour and all the dry ingredients so we're gonna let it sit and wait so now after five to ten minutes you guys can see the bubble on top the yeast is good it's ready to go now we can add in the dry ingredients which we already had what baking powder in there salt in there and then now we are just going to add the rest of the sugar about one tablespoon in here you guys can also reduce the amount of sugar if you don't like the dough to be a little sweeter now can mix you can mix well like that yeast mixture in there with milk and yeast and a little sugar a little bit of sugar in there and then we can add in yogurt About three fourth cup of yogurt and you can mix it with a rubber spatula or you can also use your hand okay and then later I'm going to add about four tablespoons of vegetable oil or about a quarter cup of vegetable oil and then now we're going to knead well and if you love butter feel free to melt butter and add in here okay and then now you can use your hand to knead it if the dough is a little bit sticky feel free to flour your hands with all-purpose flour um, to knead the dough until it's nice and smooth if you guys have a stand mixer you can also use a dough hook and just knead it on medium um, speed for about five minutes until the dough is nice and smooth but if you don't have a stand mixer or a dough machine um, you can also just use your hands okay so I'm gonna show you guys both ways dough hook on medium speed for about five minutes until the dough looks like this okay guys here we go nice and smooth So if you notice the dough is a little sticky, feel free to grease your hands with some oil. Um, you can also just grease the bowl here in the same mixing bowl, or you can also use a separate bowl um, and just add some olive oil or vegetable oil, and then just grease it around the bowl like this, and then add in or transfer the dough in here okay and you guys can just kind of form it into a nice round ball like that and rub it with a little bit of oil and then cover with a plastic wrap or a kitchen towel okay and then i'm going to rest this in uh, an oven i'm just gonna set the heat the temperature to 100 Fahrenheit. I'm gonna rest it in here for about an hour or until the dough doubled in its original size Okay, and when that happened, you guys can take that out Cover in cover with a plastic wrap again and put in the refrigerator so we can use it to 
tomorrow in class. In case you guys would like to make naan bread from scratch, or you can also prepare uh, rice and butter to eat with the butter chicken tomorrow. All right. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.